Dallas city leaders and dozens of state leaders are denouncing Russia's invasion of Ukraine. City council passed a resolution earlier today, and state lawmakers have proposed doing the exact same. Jack Fink on that for you. He's over at City Hall to explain what exactly do the efforts do. Well, Doug, state lawmakers say they want to hit Russia where it hurts, their economy. And so what they're talking about is having pension funds divest from Russia. And here at Dallas City Hall, leaders say they're sending their own message. The fact of the matter is... is Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson proposed the resolution and council members passed it unanimously. It condemns Russia's invasion of Ukraine, suspends the city's official ties with its sister city, Saratov, Russia, and restricts the city council from approving any contracts with firms that have ties to Vladimir Putin's regime. The mayor wants to show strong support for the Ukrainian community. This community deserves their Dallasites. They deserve to hear us as a city council say loudly and clearly that we stand with them not just behind them, but with them. And the a bipartisan group of state lawmakers are among those who've signed a resolution urging the state to impose economic sanctions against Russia. 89 of 150 representatives have already signed on, including Tan Parker of Flower Mound. If Texas as an individual state doesn't lead, uh, being in such a strong economic position as the ninth largest economy in the world, uh, then we literally are missing an enormous opportunity uh, to stop uh, what I believe to be a madman. Lawmakers also want to pass a bill sanctioning Russia either during the next legislative session beginning in January or during a special session if one is called by Governor Abbott sooner. State Representative Rafael Anchia of Dallas says lawmakers want state pension funds to divest from Russia. There we've been able to identify about $660 million worth of investments that have been made by our pension funds. Uh, we want to make sure that we get out of those investments. And uh, this is this is going to have real teeth to it because Texas is the ninth largest economy in the world. Our economy is bigger than Russia's. Now, Anchia says they don't need state legislation to do that, but he says they first want to hold hearings on this matter to make sure that these divestments from Russia won't hurt retired teachers and retired state employees. We emailed the governor's office today seeking comment about all this, but we didn't hear back. Live at Dallas City Hall, Jack Fink. CBS 11 News.